Comic book relationships are known to be more dramatic and full of crazy complications than many telenovelas. So, when a couple actually manages to tie the knot, it's often a big deal. Welcome to Top 10 Nerd. I'm Andrew Boyd, and the approach of Valentine's Day has me feeling a bit romantic. So, I figured, why not take a look at the top 10 greatest comic book weddings? I really liked reading all the relevant books for this list, so I've also given each entry an honorary award for wedding elements that that they did the best. There are a lot of fake outs in comics where the wedding is called off at the last moment, so for this list, I'm going to limit the criteria to weddings that resulted in a marriage and that took place in main continuity, with one exception. Number 10, Batman and Catwoman. Tom King's run on Batman is most remembered for the killing of Alfred the Butler and his in depth exploration of Batman and Catwoman's relationship. The two had had a flirtatious relationship since Catwoman's first appearance all the way back in. Batman number one, and have had an on again, off again relationship ever since. The two finally became engaged in Batman Volume 3, number 32, and were all set to get married in Batman Volume 3, number 50. Like the Superman Lois Lane wedding issue that inspired it, Batman number 50 features art by several different artists from Batman's past, with pages by artists like Jim Lee, Frank Miller, and Neil Adams. Unfortunately, DC's editor at the time, Dan DiDio, decided that Batman should remain single, and at the last minute, Batman got left at the altar by Catwoman. Tom King's intention was for the two to actually get married, but it was blocked and he was soon taken off the book. He was, however, allowed to finish his story in a miniseries outside of main continuity, and in Batman Catwoman number 12, we got to see the wedding that never was, with Bruce and Selina getting married in a Batman-themed wedding chapel with an officiant dressed in the Adam West bat suit. It was an intimate affair, with Clark Kent and Lois Lane serving as witnesses, and my only complaint is that it wasn't part of the main DC continuity. But it does get the honorable mention of best small ceremony on the list. Number 9, Spidey and MJ. In Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 21, the webbed wall crawler finally got to marry the love of his life, Mary Jane Watson. As far as comic book weddings go, this one was pretty uneventful, with most of the issue being dedicated to Peter having second thoughts about bringing MJ into his dangerous lifestyle, and MJ having second thoughts about giving up her glamorous lifestyle of partying to settle down. The two overcome their second thoughts and get married, although this of course was later retconned due to Peter making a deal with the demon Mephisto in order to save his Aunt May's life in the infamous One Day More story. Honestly, it's not a bad wedding, but there's not really anything memorable about the ceremony. What made me put it on the list was the weird publicity stunt that was being pulled by Marvel at the same time, as they had actors dress up as Spider-Man and Mary Jane at the Shea Baseball Stadium, where they were married on home plate by Stan Lee before a crowd of 45,000 baseball fans who had assembled to watch the New York Mets play the Pittsburgh Pirates. It's kind of a goofy gimmick, but it does earn this wedding the title of best real life crossover. Number 8, Guardian and Vindicator. Usually comic book weddings are between characters who have been together for a while that readers have been waiting to see tie the knot. But sometimes characters are married when we meet them and we never really know the details of how it happened. Such was the case with Alpha Flight members. James Hudson and Heather McNeil. In the original 130 issues of Alpha Flight, we learned that they met at work and they left together when they discovered that James's geo exploration suit was going to be sold as a weapon and they were soon married. This story was expanded upon during 1997's Flashback Month event, where every title in Marvel showed a story from the character's past. This issue was Alpha Flight's first appearance after a four year absence from the comics, so their flashback issue, called In the Beginning, was important for multiple reasons, as for this title, it wasn't just a flashback, but a relaunch leading into volume two of their series. In the story, we see the courtship of Heather and James, as well as his early efforts to create Department H and develop his super suit. We see the two get engaged and elope in a brief Justice of the Peace ceremony with plans for a bigger ceremony later. We see their honeymoon where they first met Wolverine, as well as the conflict between the couple as the ceremony gets delayed due to Jim's work. We get to see James use his prototype battle suit in his first superhero adventure, where he and Wolverine meet Puck for the first time. The issue culminates with the group being saved by Heather and Alpha Flight, defeating their very first villain together before the two finally have their wedding ceremony an hour later, with the ceremony being performed by a priest named Stan Lee. It provides a lot of previously unseen context for the characters, which is why it gets the title of Best Flashback Wedding. Plus, there was no way I wouldn't include an Alpha Flight related entry on this list. In fact, 
it might not even be the only one. Number 7. Jimmy Olsen and Bruna the Sacred Ape In Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen number 98, Jimmy and Clark are on assignment in the African jungle where a blockbuster movie is being filmed. The film crew is using the local natives as extras and in exchange are showing the natives a different jungle movie every night. The natives worship a sacred ape named Bruna who comes into camp and is enamored with the showing of King Kong. When Jimmy gets trapped by an underwater pool of quicksand, he is rescued by Bruna the sacred ape who is immediately smitten with the young cub reporter. The ape tries to woo Jimmy, even bringing him a bouquet of bananas, but Jimmy runs away. The sacred ape goes on a rampage after losing her chosen mate, and Superman decides that the best thing for everyone would be if Jimmy goes along with it until he can figure out a plan. He drops Jimmy off with the ape and brings them a fruit basket as an engagement gift. Jimmy's girlfriend Lucy Lane shows up and makes the ape a bridal veil. Just when things can't seem to get any worse for Jimmy, Superman shows up dressed as a witch doctor to perform the ceremony while the movie crew films the whole thing. Bruna eventually tires of Jimmy and divorces him by throwing him off a cliff, and he is rescued by the Man of Steel. But I think we can all agree that Superman let that go on a little too far before he intervened. Anyway, this is my pick for the wackiest comic book wedding. Number 6. The Thing and Alicia Masters I actually agonized for three full days on whether I was going to include this wedding or Jean Grey and Cyclopses, but in the end, I just couldn't pass this one up. Sorry, X-Men fans. Fantastic Four Volume 6 Number 5 features Ben Grimm getting married to his love, the blind sculptor Alicia Masters. It's a really wonderful issue featuring Sue helping Ben practice for his first dance as he's worried that he will step on his wife's feet with his big rock feet. It recaps the story of The Thing and Alicia's meeting and courtship and features The Thing's bachelor party with Human Torch, Spider-Man, Thor, Iron Man, and others losing a game of strip poker with Thundra before being attacked by the Serpent Society who pop out of a giant cake. Throughout the issue, Reed is seemingly neglecting his duties as best man and can't be torn away from his experiments, but when the wedding is interrupted by a message from Doctor Doom saying that Galactus is attacking Latveria, Reed reveals that he anticipated something coming up and was inventing a device to freeze time for four minutes so that they could finish the ceremony without interruption. It's a great issue and I don't even read Fantastic Four comics. If I was a more invested fan, I imagine it would rank even higher on the list. I'm giving this the honorable mention of sweetest comic book wedding. Number 5. North Star and Kyle One of the original members of Alpha Flight, Jean-Paul Bobier, is the fastest mutant alive, since Quicksilver apparently isn't one anymore. Anyways, he also has the distinction of being the first mainstream superhero to come out as gay. It was alluded to in many of his appearances, but wasn't confirmed until 1992's Alpha Flight number 106. In the years since, he left Alpha Flight and became a member of the X-Men, eventually meeting his future husband, a normal man named Kyle Jinnadu. The two were married in 2012's Astonishing X-Men Volume 3, number 51, in a large outdoor ceremony that featured guests from both the X-Men and Alpha Flight, with the two groups putting their longtime rivalry aside to come together for North Star and Kyle. This is actually the first officially shown wedding for a gay couple in Marvel Comics, so though it was a long time coming, I'm giving this the title of Best Landmark Wedding. And to those of you already typing nasty comments about this issue's inclusion, we at Top 10 Nerd have prepared an official statement. You. Number 4. Barry Allen and Iris West Lightening things up a bit, next up we have the marriage between The Flash and his wife Iris West. The Flash number 165 opens the night before Barry's wedding, with him trying to decide if he should tell her about his double life as The Flash. The next morning, the ceremony gets off to a good start with the couple's family and friends in attendance. Iris walks down the aisle, but just as they are about to be wed, someone objects. Who is it? The Flash! It turns out that the reverse Flash escaped from his future prison and swapped places with Barry before disguising himself as his enemy and trying to steal his wife. Barry escaped and interrupted the wedding and awkwardly carried the fake Barry away so that they could have a duel to decide who would get to marry Iris. Flash defeats his enemy, changes into a tux, heads back to the church and marries his wife. I think this is possibly one of the most melodramatic weddings in comic book history, and that's the award I'm giving it. Number 3. Archie Gets Married Before love triangles like Edward Jacob and Bella, or Joey, Pacey, and Dawson, or Katniss Gay 
Dale and Peta, there was one love triangle that stood above them all. The one between Archie, Betty, and Veronica. To celebrate Archie's 600th issue in 2009, Archie came out with a six part series that promised to finally answer the question. The story featured Archie living through two possible futures, where he ended up with Veronica and Betty. The first two issues told the story of Archie getting engaged to Veronica and getting a prestigious job at her father's business. It showed a huge wedding ceremony that was broadcast on television and the couple eventually having twins who are raised in a luxurious but loving home. Issues 603 through 605 showed what would happen if he instead married Betty, with the couple having a small ceremony at Pop's Diner and them becoming teachers at Riverdale High before eventually having twins of their own. Issue 606 acts as the epilogue, with Archie thinking about both possible futures before forgetting his journey through time and making dates with both Betty and Veronica on the same day, and getting milkshakes dumped on his head as a result, in one of the most disturbing panels I've seen in a long time. It's a bit of a cop out, but it allows a look at where the characters will end up depending on the outcome, and allows shippers from both sides to be happy. It's the ultimate have your cake and eat it too, and I'm awarding it the best love triangle resolution wedding. Number two, Sue Storm and Reed Richards. Although the first superhero wedding was actually between Aquaman and Mera in 1960, Mr. Fantastic's wedding to the Invisible Woman in Marvel's first wedding in 1963 is by far the more iconic ceremony. The story features Doctor Doom using mind control to get supervillains to attack the site of the wedding and the various Marvel heroes trying to get rid of the villains. It features an all out brawl between villains like the Mandarin, Electro, and Kang the Conqueror, just to name a few, against the Fantastic Four, the Avengers, the X-Men, Spider-Man, Daredevil, and S.H.I.E.L.D. among others. Reed is given a weapon by the Watcher so that he can end the fight, and he and Sue are wed, while two gate crashers, Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, are kicked out of the reception by Nick Fury. It's an important wedding in the history of Marvel, but the title I'm giving it is the most chaotic comic book wedding. Number one, Superman and Lois Lane. Although they both made their first appearances in Action Comics number one in 1938, it wasn't until 1996 that Superman finally married Lois Lane. The first modern superhero and his love interest finally got to be together, and in order to celebrate the occasion, DC Comics did something very special. Like the Batman Catwoman wedding album it inspired, this comic brought back several artists who had worked on Superman comics over the years in order to not only celebrate the nuptials, but the history of the characters as well. The wedding album features art by Dan Jurgens, Jerry Ordway, John Byrne, and the final published work by Kurt Swan, just to name a fraction of the talent that was involved with this book. Although many of the classic superheroes who get married end up having their weddings retconned in some way, Clark Kent and Lois Lane have stayed married ever since, other than during the New 52, making this a much more important issue in their mythos than, say, the Spider-Man Mary Jane wedding issue. The story itself is also fun, with the Justice League patrolling Metropolis so Clark can focus on his wedding, but it's the clever artist gimmick and the long-lasting effect it has had on the characters, as well as how long we had to wait for them to get hitched, that made me choose this as the greatest comic book wedding of all time. Any comic book weddings we didn't mention here that left you in tears? Any comic book couples you want to see tie the knot sometime soon? Let us know in the comments below, and remember to like and subscribe for more Top 10 Nerd.